So I just took level 10 and I'm immediately going to go into Tharash Arena um, and get myself flagged for the raid for the Vault of Night because I really want to have a shot at getting the Sword of Shadows and they do run that raid reasonably quickly. This looks like the underground highway to Tharask Arena. If you search for Dirge's contact, keep your guard up. The spectators may not be friendly. So it's an arena where um, lots of hobgoblins like to watch people fight. And what am I doing here? I'm putting the band back together. This is a heist movie. I, uh, it's the first raid that was put into the game, the Vault of Night raid. This is the first flagging quest for it. And um, the... I don't need to go in there, but... And Marek Malkanis in House Kunderak has asked me to get his band of robbers back together. They were employed to test the security of the Vault of Night by House Kunderak and the security was so good that they couldn't break it and they were disillusioned they disbanded and now I need to find a way to get them get them back together so the first guy who I'm going to who I'm basically working on is this guy called um, Dirge of Karnath he's the fighter of the group don't think he, this is an optional this guy is actually quite tough master murder um you're the foolish human that Dirge suckered into getting the earth of drum yes I've been sent to get an axe for Dirge. Can you help me get the axe? None of the thrash players want a human in the fights. Um, yeah, if you can get past Urgol the Registrar, you can make your way in. He'll give me a password. I'll pay him a thousand for a password. Great. And so you get the password. You can fight that guy if you play your cards, but he, he's actually really tough. He, and I think you get a spare, an extra chest from it. But he displaces himself and has some pretty nasty magic as far as I remember. I'm sure nowadays it would like I'd probably be able to chop him up in seconds, but like in the old days I remember him as being annoyingly difficult. So yeah, so the Oath of Drome is a or Drome is the reward for successful competence in the arena here. Here's Grogan. The gates of Barask Arena move ahead. Guarded by a well-groomed bugbear and a host of trollish enforcers. So I'm want to compete in the arena. I'll own, yeah. Okay, I've killed lots of cobbles. He doesn't like me. So then I have to see if I can sneak my way in. At the moment, none of these guys attack you. They're just busy cheering and whooping at an empty arena. They're enthusiastic, lot really. spectators pack the stands, eager for the main event. You growl and curse as they catch oh, yeah, these ogres. Yeah, these ogres do fight. But they've had a bit to drink. Here's the registrar. I've got the password. Roast halfling. Now find the key to ready room one. bad traps in this quest so happy to just rush along and after doing things like the temple of elemental evil it's a walking apart really coming in here See over the other side, ready room one, as far as I remember. Yeah. The only really annoying thing about this quest is the final 
troll are fighting the, tri the final troll fight. Is he a troll? Yeah, he's a troll. Blood something. He's got <coughs> a club which can, which will make you dance. And the dance lasts quite a long time, so you've just got to hope that you can survive it when he makes you dance. Outside of that, I think I'm reasonably well kitted out, so won't be too much from them. Although my gear's getting old now. I'm level 10 and I'm still wearing Feywild stuff, which is, as far as I remember, it's level 5 mostly. Yeah. What I should do is is grab some of the Barovia stuff on one of my ults, pass it to myself, because I'd be ahead of myself if I went into Barovia now. But Barovia kind of entered the game when I was on a break, and so I've never really played it, and I haven't got any of the stuff, even the base level heroic stuff. I mean, this stuff does perfectly well. I'm not concerned about my kit, but you notice words etched above this gate. Could always have better. Ready room one. Inside, scarred and muscular. So I've replaced those trolls as the gladiator and then I just teleport myself into the arena with this guy. Rogan, the promoter, shouts, We have a last minute team for today's bloodbath. All the way from Stormreach. Angry howls erupt from the crowd. Yeah. Reason to worry? Crusher's kobolds and the Mudwallow ogres are hungry for blood, <laughs> and they're joining forces against the Stormreach team. I think they've changed the voiceover. The voiceovers here were, were faulty for a while. Like, there, there was a little bit, I think that bit, that hadn't been voiced. So suddenly a different voice came in and went, Their luck has run out! <laughs> like, it was really weird. But where are they, these the guys that I'm supposed to be killing? I thought they'd just come running up the stairs. Oh, here they are. Got to give them a good show. Actually, the kobolds are more annoying than the ogres, really, because they have them. They can do stuff like stun you. You may as well take these out first. What a terrible upset! The mystery team is tougher than it looks. Oh, is this bit? Yeah, it's still the, the same. Of Fury and the Maelstrom princes have slain hundreds of their... Yeah, they must have just forgotten to get that line. This should be the shortest fight we've ever seen. Let the slaughter begin. And then have that Barry in the voiceover booth. Hey, Barry, um, uh, Pete, Pete, who was doing the, the Von quest, he forgot to do one of the voiceovers. I mean, could, could you just say this line? Their luck has run out. Should, should, I sound, should I sound like Pete? No, 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 just sound like yourself, mate. Doesn't matter. This is like long before they started getting kind of Will Wheaton and so forth to do the voiceovers. These methods are annoying. Who could imagine such a disaster? So many great gladiators slaughtered in their prime. So they just send a lot at me. It's time for an all-out showdown. Fresh fighters from all four teams have armed themselves for battle. Their horns are sharpened and their weapons are drawn. Our brave fighters are entering the arena. The battle is on. Or is it? I'm just going to wait for it to happen. Oh, there they are. Probably get the cobbles first, rather than the last. Team has spilled a sea of blood today, but it is not 
yet sail to victory. There remains one warrior with the strength and cruelty to avenge the fallen heroes of Tarash Karina. This is the guy with the club that can make you dance. Where does he come out of there? Oh, he does come out of there. He's got a little sidekick as well. Probably worth just taking him out super quickly first. So if he does make me dance, it's only him beating on me. There he goes, he's made me dance. But this is fine, he's aggroed on me. So he's not going to take out my honey. He's already half dead. I will devour your children. No, you won't, mate. Now is your chance to seize the mighty axe. Hey, all these guys come in. You can just grab the axe and the, and the quest finishes immediately. I'm just going to kill a promoter. Just so. But yeah, that's coming up to the end of Von 1. The first quest in the Vault of Night. Flagging chain. I'll grab his key. I think I can get myself a chest later out of that. But here's the axe, the Oath of Drome. And as soon as you pick it up, the quest ends. It's actually quite a nice axe, but you can't take it out of the quest. Uh, where is it? Is it that one? Yeah. Vorpal, Flaming Burst, Keen, one Adamantine. It does the trick. But um, that's just to get the optional chest that you can use it really. I can't even remember where the optional chest is. So rather than you watching me jumping around trying to remember where an optional is. Oh, well, there's one here. Then um, I'll just get this and then I will see you in the next one.